So if you haven't checked out my last video about the Wise Cams, go ahead and check that one out first. I'll leave a link down below in the description, then come back to this one. This one is going to be all about adding those Wise Cameras to something called Tiny Cam Pro. If you're not sure what that is, it's a web server slash a host of different kinds of cameras and IP cameras you can add to all have them in one app and add them all into one web server. From there, what we're going to do in the next video is go ahead and add that into Action Tiles. That's right, so you can have your Wise Cams and all other your IP cameras in Action Tiles and allow them to be streamed from your panels. So, let's get started. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. And on this channel, we do smart home tech reviews, installations, and DIY guides. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any time, check out the video description for show notes and product links mentioned in this video. Also, I wanna mention that this video is sponsored by Action Tiles. If you're not sure what that is, you can check out some of my previous videos that I'll link up here. But what Action Tiles is, is a web-based browser, customizable control panel add-on for smart things. It is also compatible with refreshable still images, GIFs, and most MJPEG video streams. If you're able to view it on your network in a browser, you should be able to add it onto an unlimited number of Action Tiles panels. Like I mentioned in this two-part video series, we're going to be adding the Wise Cams into Tiny Cam Pro, and then from there into an Action Tiles panel. This video here is going to show you how to get the Wise Cam added onto the Tiny Cam Pro app, which runs on Android only. Sorry, iPhone guys. And then from there, in the next video, we're gonna take the web server from Tiny Cam Pro and add that into an Action Tiles panel. And the last thing I'm gonna mention before we get started is that Action Tiles offers a 14-day free trial, so you can go ahead and check out if your video streams are gonna work or any other customizable options you wanna try with your SmartThings platform. And if it doesn't work out for you, just cancel the free trial. If it does work out, I actually have a 10% off coupon in the video description as well. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so like I mentioned, the Tiny Cam Pro is the app you will need. It is Android only, so you can go ahead and use an extra Android device you may have laying around. It will even work on a Fire tablet, such as a Fire HD 8 or even a 7. I'm just going to use my phone here for demonstration purposes. It does cost a few bucks. I believe it's $2.99 for the Pro version, which I do recommend. It's definitely worth it. So I'm just gonna skip through this here. And then it jumps straight into asking you to add a camera. So we're gonna be checking out the WISE cameras here. If you have a regular IP camera added on your network, you can go ahead and scan your network or add them manually. We're gonna click on the top option. And for camera name, we're gonna leave it blank right now. Where it says Foscan by default, we're gonna check, scroll down to Wise Labs, and then we're gonna leave everything default. We're gonna scroll down until you get to login settings. And from here, you're gonna enter your Wise Cam email address and password, and then the rest you can go ahead and leave default for now. And then at the top here, you just click on camera status to see if you can get a stream going. And there we go, there's my garage feed. And the first camera that you have in your Wise app, as you have them arranged, it will show in that order as you go. So we're just gonna go ahead and add two cameras for now. I'm gonna close that one out. And I'm gonna go back. And as you can see, we have cam one selected. What you can do if you want is click, click on that and go ahead and change the name to whatever name you want. I'll just call this garage. Go back, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add a second one doing the same method, except there will be one small change. So we're gonna go back to Foscam here and change that to Wise Labs again. Enter our username and password. And then, since this is the second camera, there's going to be a channel change needed. As the, the channel defaults to one, we're gonna to need to change that to two, and that will change depending on which camera in your Wise account you want to add. So I got to that by going down all the way to the bottom to advanced settings, channel number, and I'm gonna change that to two. Now we'll go back and we will check to see if we got it working. There we go, this is my backdoor camera. And I'll change the name right here to backdoor, if I could spell. There we go. 
and I'll go back again. Now we should be able to click on live view and see both of our cameras from our Wise account on TinyCam Pro. And you can add as many cameras as you'd like. Now what we need to do is enable background mode just by clicking background mode and then tapping on both of your cameras or however many you have. And then we'll need to change a few settings. We'll turn on low bandwidth profile. We'll turn on notifications and go ahead and enable that. And then we need to turn on the web server in order to get that into action tiles, which will be in the next video. Okay, after the web server starts running, we can go ahead and go back into the tab here and see that the IP address of that server is 192.168.156 with the port number of 8083 for me. I'm going to go ahead and leave it just as it is. And just to see if it is running, we will hop into Chrome here and I will type in that IP address. 192.168.1.56 colon 8083. Now it's going to ask you to sign in and it defaults to admin as the pa as the username and no password, which can be changed if you wish, but that will not work if you want to use it in action tiles. So just leave it default for now. And now we'll go to live view. And there we go, there's both of our cameras. So if you're not interested in using action tiles for whatever reason, you can just go ahead and use the uh, TinyCam Pro web server system to maybe save to your local NAS or something like that. But if you are using smart things in action tiles, I would highly recommend stick around and check out the next video so you can go ahead and see how that is done as well. So I want to give a shout out to action tiles for sponsoring this video, as well as a shout out to you guys, the viewers for supporting our sponsors and therefore supporting me. So if you like this video, you know what to do. Go ahead and click like. If you didn't like it, go ahead and hit that dislike button as well. Make sure you are subscribed and the notification bell is on. And stick around for the next video where we are going to go ahead and add this into action tiles, into an action tiles panel. See you guys in the next one.